Okay, and welcome to the CLH Review Show. Which of course, right now we're going to be reviewing these other new, brand new Ghostbusters figures, which of course are the Lady versions. Which of course, apparently, well, the reason I say that is because, well, we got the ladies and because we got a belted figure of Rowan, so we're going to check them out. So, I'm going to start opening them, and this time I brought some in to be sure about that. Just got it from the kitchen over there, so, uh, eh. Okay. Fucking other thing is sharp. First, let's take them out by box by box. With the ah oh, fuck off! You got bets on it. I need to get scissors for them. I'll be also buying other bits of these for the model, so. I'll be with you guys in a second, I'm just going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the bits out, so let's see. Alright, I'm back. So, I got the bits cut out and right now I've already got one of the figures out. We've got Melissa McCarthy as Abby Yats. Alright, All right, and we got a uh, got Aaron Gilbert. Gonna put the proton pack ones up like on the back of their packs. And we got Patty Tollin, which of course I have a feeling she would be good because on the trailer she was a little bit funny, so I just sure hope so. Because she sounds like a good character to be honest to you guys. Anyway, we got uh, we got Patty. Finally, we got Erin Gilbert. Now, I'm leaving her out because, uh, well, may as well put the... Uh, putting her out with the proton pack. So anyway, we got these four ladies that will be playing as the new Ghostbusters. Now, there's one thing that a guy mentioned on one of them, and of course, I might as well just tell you, but uh, not all the proton packs all this are like the same size. Well, maybe maybe they are the same size, but patties, as you say, they're not. But of course, there is one difference about the, these proton packs, is that, well, there's not much colour into it, it's just all plain black and grey and all that. But of course, there is no like a red circular bit, they could just put something like a red bit under it to make it look like it, an act, the actual proton pack from the movie. And uh, on the side, you do not see any of the cages that, like on trailers, how you see, uh, I think it, uh, it was those like proton blasters. I can't really remember what the name of them were, but they popped out of the proton pack and she was using them to fire them at the ghosts. And well, that's it. But there's only one. There's only a couple of things that we are that we haven't really got for any of these figures. There's no PKE meter or ghost trap. These are the only things that I cannot that we can find. And well, 
that's actually basically it. I mean, there's no uh, trap or PKE meter. I do not know why. On the previous move, on previous movie figures, they used to have those little proton beams to look like they uh, on the figures they had a proton pack, uh, you know, firing out a proton beam. And of course, we had other equipment. We had the PKE meter and all that, including the goggles. Well, I don't know, but the goggles. I mean, I haven't really got a chance to look at them online. I only got the one of them. So. Uh, Anyway, that's all for them, but before we uh, review Rowan, I should, should show you what they are close up. So, yeah, I might as well 